Okay, guys, what's up? Today we are going to be talking about EV Next. Okay, again, I'm doing a bunch of videos about EV Next. First was comparing with other render engines, uh, and then comparing comparing with uh, EV SSGI. And uh, now I'm taking a look on the latest version of Blender 4.2 beta which was the one that I downloaded yesterday, which was uh, 1st July, okay? And this is the version, right? This is the version, okay? Uh, the reason I'm doing that is because at the very beginning, Blender EVNX wasn't giving very good results, but I believe it's been improved and I, kind of start to feel that we are going to get somewhere and starting to bet a little bit more on the guys of Blender Foundation. I think that's, I think what they have in mind is that this is the foundation. And then from what we have now, they will have a good base for improvements because what we have now is better, much better than what we have, for example, a month ago in terms of development okay i will show you right now how ev next looks like okay so first if you add an environment world it it will be like this okay let's go here and look into the world that's what we have simple hdri strange one nothing fancy is happening here okay but the problem is what most of people are showing out there it's not how it is supposed to work and people is people are kind of seeing that and thinking that the ray trace isn't that good but because they are not using what the features of ev that's that's why it doesn't look good even though it's looking better than what we had before at this stage is exactly the same as we have in the previous EV, okay? So you don't see anything different here. This scene is pretty basic, there's nothing here, just three different walls with, walls with colors. This is a glass material, okay? And this is the mirror, nothing fancy, okay? And you have a world. The difference now is that in the world, you can cast shadows. So if you turn it on shadows, automatically, the HDRI will cast shadows. That by, that by itself is different from the previous version, which the HDRI would be just to be calculated from the probe, environment probe, and for the reflections, okay? But now it casts shadows. So if you rotate here, it will be rotating, right? The other thing is here, you have to go to your rendering settings and turn it on ray trace. When you turn it on ray trace, you can see right away that we have the screen space working on. So you can see that's very standard screen space, but it's very well implemented. So there are some uh, engines out there that you can see the, the screen space uh, global illumination and reflections working on. But for some reason here in uh, Blender, I can kind of feel it's there is something else in terms of polishing they are they are polishing this uh, approach uh, in a way that the results getting is getting really good okay but i'm not telling you it's good now because that's what that's what people are showing you in the videos out there there's a figure uh, and they show you this and then change the environment the rotation here and they say you know you see this this is much better than before but you look you look to this and it still look gain for you even though you can have some ambient occlusion you can have some reflections the glass now is working much better right but you still don't feel the depth the reflections here it's you see it's not like quite close to what would happen that's why people are not using the probes now easy uh, e uh, even next 
will still use uh, the volume probe, but the difference is now the volume probe that you cast here on your scene, it's a different volume probe from before. Because before you had to constrain the probe, right, to the to the limits that you 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 didn't let any of the spheres out of your environment. Otherwise, you would have a light, uh, light bleeding everywhere. And that was painful to fix, depending on the scene. In this scene, of course, it's just a box, so that would be easier. Okay, but in a scene that is more complex, you have different corridors and things that could be very painful for you. Okay, but now you don't need to worry about that. And the time to calculate this, it's it's a matter of few seconds, right? I will show you. So you now don't need to worry about that. You just need to cover your entire scene, okay? Just make sure you, you are covering the entire scene. You don't need even to bother about the spheres anymore, the, the, how, where the points will be anymore, because now you can improve, increase these points, like up to the limit, the limit of what you want. Like you can put 64, and then calculate it. But maybe you would run out of the memory, so you go to performance just to guarantee that it will render this. So put it 64, okay, for the light probes, just in case, just in case, okay? And now you have this, and you still don't see any difference. But the difference, I will show you now. If you go to your volume probe and bake it, you see how long it will take. Look at this, 64 samples. It takes like seconds. I don't know how long it takes, but you see the difference now? Now it calculates the scene much better and you have your environment here. And you tell me like, is it still screen space? Okay, the scene is still screen space, but you have your environment calculated here. And what is the difference from the previous version? The difference is that now, if you rotate this here, okay, the environment will be updated according to the HDRI, right? So if you turn it this here, it will be updated accordingly. Of course, here you have some artifacts on the ground, and that can be fixed using the using also the volume. Okay, so you can smooth it out here, and you will have a better GI overall on your scene. Okay, you can increase the intensity of the probe, okay, up to how much you want, okay. Let me show you. You can improve the intensity of your overall the world and it will affect everything, even if you rotate it. Okay, you can see now how it's affecting everything. And the result now you can control after it. So you have it here now and you can change your HDRI. Let me change it here for this one, for example. Let me grab this one. Okay, so it updates, okay, and then you have your sun casted here from your HDRI, okay, and now you can go to your world and then you can play around a little bit with the angle of the sun so you make the shadows smoother, right, here to kind of fit more. On what you expect to see okay let's see from the camera and uh, you see how it's way more consistent now look at that I'm gonna render it you see how nicer is this compared with the previous version and how easier it is to set up everything okay so if you think okay maybe that's that's not the light cassette that I want. Change it to something else. Maybe you change for this one. 
okay something like this and let's let me see let me let me see now you want to cast a light here you can anytime add a light here and your light will be updated okay the reflections are updated automatically so you cast the light here put your light on you don't need to bake that light no look at this look at this let's let me spread out this light look at this how nice is this this is pretty nice man look at that okay and then another thing that people are not showing you is this for example if you want to see a proper reflection here because right now if you go here you see the reflection is a screen space reflection so look at this this is because it, it's the nature of this screen space, you still have features to fix that in the level of a flat mirror reflections, which is the plane probe. Okay, you have a plane probe here, then you can control it just like this. Okay, and you do exactly what you used to do before okay so now you have the reflections matching accordingly look at that you see your reflections doesn't have that issue that you had anymore okay and you can see here let's cast a light here put this light up Look how nicer the glass is now here. If you take this guy, for example, and uh, because it's ray traced now, when you go to roughness and when you rough, when you give it this a rough, it really behaves like a rough um, glass. Okay. Let me grab this light here. And, and drink and copy something here so you can see more deeply what I'm talking about. Look at this. Okay, so now you have this material here, which is it has to have ray trace and dirtier, not blended. If it's blended, it's not gonna work. It has to be like this. Okay, and there are more settings that I still didn't figure out complete. But uh, for what we have now, I think it's pretty good. You can, of course, use Blender resource here to give it more brightness to your glass if you want. Okay, you can uh, push these boundaries beyond and still have something nice in terms of reflection, okay? And you can control your uh, IOR and define more or less the filling of your glass. Okay, let me delete this light here. Okay, and of course, you also have the light, the sphere probe. Okay, the, the, the difference now is that the sphere probe, as soon as you cast here in, in your scene and you copy the probe around your scene, it will be automatically updated. So you don't need to calculate it anymore. So it's, it's, it's all automatic, okay? So I think lots of things get better, man. You, you, we were kind of not liking what was going on, but I think that now they have a way to go that is way better than before, right? It's not the perfect yet, but it's something that for sure will be improved. 
I believe it will be improved and I believe that's the way they are planning for the future to change or replace this screen space, space global illumination for something that is more like retrace, uh, full retrace uh, technology, okay? For now, that's what we are gonna get it. If you render it still, because it's EV, it's kind of super fast, right? And yeah, that's what we are gonna get probably on Blender 4.2. I, would, I wouldn't say that I am fully happy, but I'm happy by the work that they are putting on this because I trust that the technology they are building behind it will be enough for uh, really, really good improvements. But until get, we get the point that we all want to see, okay? For now, it's much better than what I figured a month ago, okay? I hope you guys like it. See you in the next video. Bye.